My name is Martin Turcott. I'm a professor of biology at University of Pittsburgh. And at PLE, um, we do a whole bunch of research on ecology and evolution, and especially the interaction between the two. And we study uh, a small plant called duckweed. It's a little tiny floating aquatic plant. Duckweeds are being studied for biofuels because they grow faster, they put on more mass than any plant. We study um, population dynamics, so how populations change over time, and also rapid evolution. And so we need a system that evolves and grows really, really fast. But we want many, many generations in a year, and this little plant can reproduce within less than a week. And so we can study 10, 15 generations in, an, in one experiment. And what's also nice about it is it's floating, so we can do all these clever experiments, and we can do them in the lab, really control conditions, in mesocosms, like these tanks out here, or actually in real ponds. So it gives us an ability to test our questions in nature as well. Evolution people usually think it takes thousands or millions of years, but we now know that it happens incredibly fast over a few generations. Historically, many ecologists, um, people studying the distribution of species, biodiversity, tend to assume that evolution is too slow to impact things that they study on the short time scales. And basically my whole research agenda is to understand how rapid evolution affects rapid ecology. So two species, whether they outcompete each other or they can coexist. You know, people study, have studied that for 100 years, but not thinking whether rapid evolution can happen and change the way species interact. And so we do a whole bunch of projects dealing with that. And then on the flip side, we ask, um, can evolution help species deal with climate change or environmental stress? And then how does ecology modify that? Our main goal is to generate basic understanding of, of nature and how it works. But that leads to understanding, for example, how cancer spreads, because cancer is an evolutionary disease. And the reason we understand how, why mutations are important and how it takes over the body is because of basic research and evolution. So there's implications for many aspects of our lives that we can't even really predict right now. And then the other one is understanding biodiversity, how species will deal with environmental deterioration and how to mitigate that. We need systems we can do experiments in. And so with this little duckweed system, um, we can do big field experiments, do experimental evolution outside, and then really understand that deeply.